Menorrhagia is defined as heavy menstrual bleeding that occurs at regular intervals. Menorrhagia is by definition ovulatory bleeding. Menorrhagia is diagnosed as greater than 80 cc's of menstrual blood during one menstrual period or a single bleeding episode that lasts more than seven days. It can be difficult to assess how much menstrual blood is lost during a bleeding episode as pad and tampon counts are notoriously inexact. Only about 10% of women with clinically defined menorrhagia are anemic. The differential diagnosis of menorrhagia is vast and includes bleeding disorders, uterine structural lesions, systemic illness, and pregnancy complications. Some women may not have any pathologic cause of their menorrhagia. Causes of menorrhagia also vary based on the age of the woman. For example, menorrhagia in adolescence may be caused by an inherited bleeding disorder, most commonly von Willebrand's disease, in up to 24% of the women. Structural disorders become more common in reproductive aged and perimenopausal women. The most common structural lesion that causes menorrhagia is a uterine fibroid. Fibroid tumors are benign growths of uterine smooth muscle cells and are estrogen-dependent tumors. The incidence of fibroids increases with age. Women are most likely to be diagnosed with fibroids when they are in their 40s. African-American women and women with a family history of fibroid tumors are more commonly affected. Evaluation of a woman with menorrhagia usually includes a pelvic examination, a pregnancy test, a TSH, and a CBC. If the physician notes any abnormalities on pelvic exam or is unable to adequately palpate the uterus or adnexa, a pelvic ultrasound may be indicated. Women over 35 with menorrhagia should also be evaluated with an endometrial biopsy. If clinically indicated, measurement of other blood tests to exclude bleeding disorders and systemic illness may be ordered. Uterine fibroids are diagnosed by pelvic examination and or pelvic ultrasound. Initial treatment of menorrhagia usually includes NSAIDs, which may decrease the amount of menstrual blood loss. Other treatment modalities include combination hormonal contraception, either oral contraceptive pills, contraceptive ring, or patch. Iron supplementation is indicated in most women as well. Danazol has been used for treatment of menorrhagia. It is more effective than placebo, but its use is limited by side effects. Vaginal Danazol shows promise as an effective treatment with fewer side effects than its oral counterpart. The FDA recently approved tranexamic acid, or Listida, as a non-hormonal treatment of menorrhagia. Tranexamic acid works by inhibiting plasminogen activation, thereby reversing the hyperfibrinolytic activity present in many women with menorrhagia. Tranexamic acid has been used worldwide for control of bleeding during various surgical procedures. The main serious side effect of tranexamic acid is blood clots, and therefore it should not be used in conjunction with estrogen-containing contraception. If a woman presents with heavy bleeding and exhibits any signs or symptoms of hypovolemia, she should be admitted to the hospital and either treated with IV estrogen to stop the bleeding or have a surgical procedure, such as a DNC. If the bleeding is heavy but the woman is stable and her hemoglobin and hematocrit are close to normal, outpatient treatment with high-dose oral contraceptive pills, estrogen, or progesterone is indicated.